Good morning and welcome to the morning update, Wednesday the 22nd of June. This is Mark Owen speaking and we are one day away from Brexit. Uh, I hope all you traders out there have been very, very cautious in the FX market. We've been making sure that all our protege clients and all other clients are very, very cautious. And do you know what? It's probably the time to stay away from trading FX. Um, if you've not used to trading commodities, then this is a week to stay away, reflect, look at trades that you've taken over the last month or two, do some reviewing, get get yourself in check and see if you've been disciplined or not. And then obviously if you haven't been disciplined, then you've got to work on certain areas. What's your money management been like? What's your risk management been like? What's your rules for execution been like? Okay, so these are things that you need to work on on a daily basis in order to get yourself to a level of trading where you can be consistent over a period of time. Now, like I said, we've got one day till Brexit and literally I think all news announcements around the globe right now uh, are actually having very little impact on the market until we know what, what the outcome of Brexit is going to be. Obviously, we've all got our own opinions and our own views. Uh, we're not here to share them, but what we will do is we'll look for direction once this has been, uh, once the vote or the, the, the result comes out. Obviously, if it's a Remain vote, then what we'll probably see is we'll see a very strong surge on uh, equity markets, we'll see a strong surge in euro, we'll see a strong surge in pound. Um, and then obviously if we do have the leave, it's going to be the reverse. It's going to have a huge impact on the sterling itself, I think massive impact on the euro, maybe more so on the euro, but we'll have to see. Equities I will expect to, to drop quite significantly. So if you are a stockholder, Maybe the time is, uh, if, if you're in profit, is to cash in and see if you can get back in at a better price uh, on, on next week or the week after. Obviously, it is a risk because you could exit your position and next thing you know, we remain in and equities take a rally. But you've got to ask yourself, are you happy with where your position is? And and remember, these, these kind of uh, decisions they don't come around very often, so they are going to have a huge impact on the market. Uh, and I'm not one for gambling, so think about what you're doing and are you gambling. Okay, so let's have a look at news announcements for today after what I've just said. Um, and we can see that we've got core retail sales coming out of Canada. We've got Mrs. Janet Yellen ch testifying at 3 p.m. And then we've got crude oil inventories. Okay, so crude oil um, has been having a little bit of a uh, a little push back up, obviously. Uh, we're seeing a weak dollar at the minute. So a weak dollar, therefore, we should expect to see oil rally. Um, we'll have a look at the dollar index in just a moment. But first, firstly, we're going we're gonna to have a look at the Nikkei. And we just made a little amendment to the symmetrical triangle that was formed. And what we're looking at is we can see a nice clear touches through here. And then, obviously, clean touches here. We finally got our breakthrough. And now it's come come back up to retest, but the question is, do we really want to get involved in trading the Nikkei right now? Um, the answer to, for me is no. It's more of a commodity market right now. Okay, so the Nikkei, it's not something I want to trade, but if we we're looking at this, then you could potentially say anything on the, the break of the low of uh, what day we uh, Tuesday, uh, we could look at seeing maybe these lows are even this low tested, so 14,750. So we could potentially look at, see if we've got uh, tomorrow, have a look for a nice bearish candle with a bearish close below today's uh, low. And then we'll look for Monday's Monday's uh, candle to take out this low. And we could look at the, the market test uh, 2016 lows back in February. Okay, next chart we're going to look at is the dollar index. Well, we can see that Basically, for the course of this this year, the dollar index has been sliding down from 100.5 all the way down to 92.5. We're currently sat very close to this horizontal at 93.5. So what we'll look for is we'd envisage that the dollar is potentially going to test this 93.5. So that will obviously, from what I've said, will mean that we'll see oil rally. It's potentially going to test the 50, 50 barrier again, 51, 52, uh, the year highs. And if we get a rally from dollar, then we can expect to see oil drop from those points. But <clears throat> if the dollar is going to break through and potentially test these lows, well, then 
we'll see oil racing off to new highs. Okay, so the talk of the time right now is cable, so GBP USD. If any other day of the week or any other period of the year, I'd definitely be looking at selling in and around where we currently are right now. Why? Well, we, technically, it's a beautiful setup. Uh, fundamentally, well, it's a gamble. Yeah, who knows? If, are we going to stay in the EU? Are we going to? Are we going to leave? No one knows. All the propaganda, scaremongering that's going on. All these opinion polls. The opinion polls are of 1,000 people or 1,200 people. It's not a very big uh, poll sample, and they're having huge impacts on the market. I mean, huge impacts for a measly sample of 1,200 people. Well. I'm sure I could go around London right now and find 1,200 people that give me uh, an answer, remain or whatever, that, but that's not going to be a very good consensus. So be wary of these polls that are being released because they do have huge impacts on the market. 300 pip rallies, 250 pip declines. You, <coughs> you, you, can't, you can't trade that, so don't, don't try. Dollar yen. Now we're looking at dollar yen for one particular reason. Uh, anyone heard of the risk off, risk on scenario? Well, the reason uh, people have been buying yen recently is not because it's a, a market that's particularly uh, good to hold or, or trade. It's the fact that it's a safe haven. Okay, so in times of uncertainty, you see money flow leave indexes or particular markets, and they will go to safe havens such as such as yen, such as gold, uh, dollar potentially. Uh, Swiss franc more so right now. It used to be a safe haven, but obviously with Brexit, you might find that the Swiss franc might become a, a safe haven again for for the European investors. So dollar yen, we can see what is it likely to do. Well, it broke through the 105.50 barrier quite significantly. So the question is, is it going to come back up and test 105.50 and then make a run down to 100? That's why I could. That's what I can see happening. Uh, would fall in line with the Nikkei, uh, having a little push back up and then falling off. So we could potentially see dollar yen touch 100, and I think 100 would be that magic marker area for the Bank of Japan to say, right, enough is enough now. This is too strong, and and there's going to be some sort of intervention. So that could be an interesting level with dollar yen. Okay, so like I said, we've we've been focusing our attention on markets that are less likely to be swung around by impact news around uh, Brexit. So we've been focusing most of our attention on uh, commodities. So right now we're looking at the chart of corn and we've got the weekly chart here, this bigger one zoomed out down at the bottom and then zoomed in here we've got the daily chart in the top right hand corner. Uh, this was a trade that we not only took based off technicals but we also took it off uh, the commitment of traders report. You can see we've got a nice strong rally leading up into resistance. And if we look at the weekly chart, a couple of weeks ago it gave us this nice shooting star. And then obviously we've got this hanging man, inside hanging man here. Now it's very hard to see because obviously within these two candles, two weekly candles here, you've got 10 days of noise. Okay, well we actually traded a shooting star setup just here. And we, the green line is our entry, the red line is our stop, and this blue line down here is our target. So you can see we've got a nice risk reward or reward to risk profile. Um, and it really wasn't doing anything. It triggered us initially, and we were in a bit of negative territory for a good period of time. But then yesterday we got this real nice huge candle down. So we can see it's made good inroads. We're about halfway to our overall target. We will be taking money off halfway down. But this is this is moving really well for us. So we'll just now sit on the sidelines. Uh, we, we'll be reducing risk very sh very soon. Um, so very happy with that trade. Next one we're going to look at, very similar, uh, soybeans. So again, this was a technical trade, but also on the back of a commitment of traders report. So we can see the big chart in the background. This is the weekly chart. Nice long-term trend line here. And then th these two red lines that you can see in the background, we can see major support through here, major support, and again support. But we break through eventually, and it comes back to test at the intersection. So we've got long-term trend line and resistance. And I've done the same format here. So you can see the so green line entry, red line stop, and blue horizontal down at the bottom is our target. This one isn't moving as nicely. We are in profit, not massively, but you can see it's moving pretty well. 
Um, in terms of charts, that is going to be it for today. Uh, reason being, obviously, like I said, we've got Brexit that is taking up all of the news, taking up uh, all all, uh, all our efforts at the minute. So we're sitting on the sidelines. We're only trading commodities until potentially next week or the week after. So we'll see what happens from the vote, and then we'll see how the markets react to determine which direction uh, we'll be we'll be trading. Now, obviously, if you can see on the screen, we've got a trade with Phoenix Blue, July the 19th. Uh, we had a fantastic day last month on uh, June the 15th. Question is, guys, how's your trading? Would you enjoy trading with one of our team members? Come for a four-hour trading session. Q&A will give you an insight into what we do, the services we provide. Uh, it's a good fun few hours. We start at 2 p.m. and it finishes at 6 p.m. on July the 19th. If this is something you want to do, what you've got to do is drop us an email to info at phoenixblue.co.uk. Or you now do that, by, or you can register for the event by going on to phoenixblue.co.uk, click on events, and register the uh, on the events tab. Like I said, or alternatively, you can click uh, send us an email at info at phoenixblue.co.uk. Okay, guys, have a great day. Trade with caution, and just remember, don't gamble on the Brexit. Okay, bye bye.